now we'll be talking about Thundercracker and Skywarp. They are the main trio that has been seen in G1 the most, aside from other seekers. Like Starscream, they transform into fighter jets. They look exactly like the main counterpart has been causing most screen time in the late in the recent years. Those Cyberverse really got brought back. Although they did make a small cameos and Transformers animated. In the original series, I thought they were brothers because they look a lot alike. They're just different colors and different designs for weapons. But then, yeah, they just have the same alt mode from the same unit. And the cracker, well, his glasses look like lightning. Skywarp, well, he could teleport. Hmm. Well, kind of face out of existence in a way. <laughs> Often it has a put up with Thunder, Starscream's antics of trying to take it for Megatron's role of later Decepticons, but they're loyal to Megatron to free and frail. <laughs> they haven't had much in terms of character development in recent years. But I do remember their most goofiness from the original series. But Thundercracker had more toxic moments. In fact, I recall that these two were one of the ones that came the Unicron minions and the Transformers the movie. Either one of them came Scourge, I think. Or one of the sweeps. Or at least Cyclonus. I forget which one became Cyclonus. <laughs> anyway. In Transformers Cybertron, the only one of the race I from Starscream that made up his return was Thundercracker, with his own design. <laughs> but the two return of the other Seekers that were in the G1 pilot episode that showed them going to Earth was Transformers Cyberverse, which brought them all together. But there were a few notable other ones, like this one's animated, which had them as Starscream's clones. With each one having one aspect of his personality and traits. Like, I think Star Scream had Thundercracker being a liar or a coward. <laughs> but they kept calling them Starscream clones, so I don't think it was official that they were supposed to be the redesigns. Or re characters of the original version of them. But I'm pretty sure that they'll someday make an appearance in the live action films alongside Starscream. I mean, I heard they rebooted the series. And I think we got that confirmed when they did the Bumblebee film. <laughs> Would you like to see some classic ones return and make an appearance in the live action films? So would I. <laughs> Here is. Transformers G series Thundercracker and Starscream of oh, Skywarp. 